Wattle Interior Design features and affects Venetian plaster, imparts the glamorous look of polished marble and natural stone to your decor. This smooth finish is layered with the multi-dimensional two-tone appearance of marble surfaces, adding visual interest and charm. Venetian plaster is a rich specialty finish with a pudding-like consistency, but don't let that worry you. It actually goes on the surface at only a slightly higher film thickness as conventional paint. Venetian plaster is a two-coat process. The first coat can be applied with a synthetic brush and 10 to 12 millimeter nap roller or applied with a steel spatula. Cut in the edges and roll on the Venetian plaster to a section of the wall one meter square using a similar spreading rate or thickness as you would with regular paint. Don't apply heavy coats of plaster. Don't worry about completely covering the surface with the first coat as building opacity in multiple coats adds to the dimensional effect. After rolling a section, use a flexible steel spatula to pull the wet product in various directions in an overlapping pattern. Keep your edges random to avoid leaving a pattern as you move across the wall. This will help distribute the product evenly and remove the stippled look left behind from the roller and create a smooth surface. When using the spatula, grasp the blade in your hand with two or three fingers on the back side of the blade to give you more control. Also, it's important to clean the blade frequently of any dried product. If you don't, small granules can scratch the surface and leave small gouge marks. Continue applying the product in this fashion over the entire surface. Let the first coat dry for one to four hours. When the plaster is evenly matte and lighter in color, you're ready for the second coat. The second coat is always applied with the steel spatula. Scoop up a small amount of Venetian plaster on the blade, start at the top of the wall and apply it thinly in a random overlapping pattern. This constant and repetitive spreading motion is what adds to the irregular look of the final finish. As you spread the second coat, use the spatula to eliminate any ridges of plaster buildup. At the same time, this process will actually polish the surface as well. An optional step to impart even more sheen to the finish is done by lightly polishing the surface with various types of tools. This polishing is done after the Venetian plaster has dried for at least one hour, but no more than four hours. Tools used to polish the surface include a common nylon kitchen scouring pad or extra fine sandpaper and block. We've found that the smoothest, highly polished surface is achieved using the flat surface of the steel spatula blade. This also maximizes the multi-dimensional effect. Just be careful that you don't allow the edges of the blade to gouge or scratch the surface. The more buffing effort put in, the shinier the surface will become. The finish can be buffed until it's so shiny you can actually see yourself in the surface, just like in a mirror. For maximum protection of surfaces exposed to washing or moisture, an optional coat of Wattle Features and Effects Venetian Plaster Protector should be applied with the Venetian Plaster Steel Spatula. Venetian Plaster is truly a beautiful and easy to duplicate replication of an old world Venetian finish.